So we're here at the 2018 Icebreaker Criterium. It's the first race in SoCal, so it'll be a good reference point in telling who's hot and who's not locally. Uh, I did a little bit of preparation beforehand, so we have about 30 people pre-registered. There's no big teams that's out there, just a lot of strong individual guys with maybe riding with two to three guys on the same team. I personally will be alone in riding today. I think I might have one more teammate, I'm not quite sure. Slightly windy, um, it's pretty good weather. Um, the last race just ended in a breakaway, so that's what I want. I hope we ended in a break. See what happens the rest of the race. Hey guys, so we're back with some race commentary. There were about 30 pre-registration riders, 20 day ofs. I'm just going to be discussing on how the race went for me, what I should have done, and what my plan was. Uh, with 50 guys, there were no big teams involved, no big teams organized, and everyone was in pairs of two to three. So if one guy was up the road, one guy would be sitting back waiting for the counter. But the real guys to watch were the exceptionally strong riders, um, whether them be the sprinters or the sprinters. So I wanted to know who were the sprinters in the group and um, who to follow in, if it came down to the sprint finish and who were the exceptionally strong riders who wanted to make a break happen. So those were the two things I had in mind and whatever the strong exceptional riders went up the road, I went up the road. Um, so when I found a good opportunity to get myself in a break with the strong guys, I invested in it. Unfortunately, our group was really too big. We had about maybe like eight, all working really well together. The peloton behind us just did not want us to get away. So eventually we got a lot of riders that could bridge up to us because it was still early in the race and guys were still capable of bridging. Um, but once they got up to us, and the group got bigger, guys were skipping pulls, guys were skipping turns, um, and it really just wasn't organized and we were just kind of messing around too much, Peloton caught us. So during a pivotal moment of the race, you can see here, um, it was strung out and guys are hurting, guys are opening up gaps, we're strung out from the last turn into the first turn, and we have eight laps to go, Mikola attacks and he's up the road with quite a, quite a big gap, and three riders make chase and they quickly work together and me I made a miscalculation and um, I was just caught off position and when I decided to go it was already five laps to go and I was out solo um, so so what I learned in that situation was when I know it's a pivotal part of the race and if the race is gonna start if it's going to come down to a break and you can just feel it and you just know you know Guys are hurting. It's gonna, it's gonna split. <clears throat> I have to stay in the top ten. Like, <clears throat> I gotta stay in the top ten. Wait, watch, watch for the next move, and and then go, go for it. Um, unfortunately, like the, far, the closest I got to this group was about ten, maybe twelve seconds. So I already bridged like another ten seconds because they had like a twenty second gap. So I needed to do like a eight second sprint and then another big effort in order to catch up to them and I really wasn't getting catch up and I was already digging deep I was already above my threshold one guy bridged up to me um, he had a teammate in the group so we were kind of just doing enough to just stay away um, so he was fresh enough to come around me in the sprint and that's the way the race went um, so there's going to be plenty of more opportunities the local scene is going to be exceptionally strong this year I can just feel it 2018 a lot of guys got a lot of new year's resolutions good luck with training we'll see you at the race